Hey guys, I've got a very special video for you today. Taking a little break from the world trip vlogs, which I hope you're enjoying. But this is a vlog that I actually filmed before all of that, back at the beginning of August, where I went and visited the Ubisoft headquarters in the UK and got to try out the new Assassin's Creed game, which is out now, it's released, but back then this was all top secret. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoy. It's a little bit of a different video, but um, yeah, check it out. So today I'm meeting up with the Ubisoft team to see the latest on Assassin's Creed Origins. As you remember, a couple of months ago, I went to the E3 gaming convention uh, when they announced Assassin's Creed and got to see it then. Uh, it's still before release date now, but I'm getting to see a little sneak peek of how they're getting on and chat to some of the developers and the team and stuff. Uh, and I'm pretty excited. Guys, this is Sam, one of the guys at Ubisoft. And he's showing me this collection of, they're not toys, are they? Like models? Uh, collectibles. Collectibles, okay. Uh, so Altair was the first assassin that gamers got to meet. After Altair, there's several statues of this guy. Uh, he's a big fan favorite. Uh, this is Ezio Auditori. We get old man Ezio, bit sexy with a beard. Oh yeah. Uh, and this is also where the story moved to um, Constantinople. So Assassin's Creed IV Black Flag took the assassins through to um, the water. Uh, and the Pirates of the Caribbean. The significance of Black Flag, aside from being my personal favorite Assassin's Creed game, um, is this is the team who, the development team who are making Assassin's Creed Origin. Yeah, one of the amazing things about Assassin's Creed and one of the things that makes the franchise so popular is the, the cities that the, the developers are recreating are, you know, they're pretty much inch for inch, stone for stone, as those cities were and then they bring them to life with you know the AI and the NPC characters in them and we work very very closely with historians to ensure that everything is you know as close to reality as it can be and there was an instance with Syndicate where one of the historians we've been working with came in to see the game running for the first time and he was shown this Victorian England living and breathing and apparently was very very close to tears at the time he was wow. really sort of moved by this because it was something he'd spent his entire life studying brought to life in front of him um, and that's I think it's something that's been behind the entire series from Altair at the beginning all the way up to Bayek who you met briefly mm. in LA is wanting to really um, you know really put gamers and fans in these locations in these time periods and you know on top of a, a twisting, thrilling sort of story that you get to play out, also just to show you really how these how these cities worked back then. So that was a little rundown of the history of Assassin's Creed, uh, and now we're going to go and check out uh, Bayak and Assassin's Creed Origins. Oh, this is a serious gaming room. <laughs> Yeah, there's, the only thing we do take seriously here really is, is our gaming. Okay guys, I have sat down now. I've been dropped in Alexandria, the city in ancient Egypt, and I'm just gonna have a little explore. Also, I'm in discovery mode, so this isn't the mode where I get missions and I fight people. This is just purely to walk around and view it, and I think this is like potentially for um, people just to look at the history of the place and there's like information. Um, so it's like an educational version of the game, which it actually is more interesting to me, um, just to be able to look around, yeah, learn about it. I'm at the gates, the gates of Alexandria. Yeah, okay. It's also, seems to be the middle of the night. <laughs> It's cool that it's night time, all, all the lanterns are lit up, all the fire. Okay, I don't know where I'm going, I'm just going to walk up these stairs and check out some of these big temples and stuff. Oh. <laughs> I'm try going to try and get as high as possible. Okay. I'm just going to keep, I'm going to go up every staircase I can to get a view of the highest point. I'd love to know what, how much of this map is still there, or whether any of it's still there, or whether it's all from just old, um, like historical records of the place. Some of these must be like ancient ruins now, some of these buildings. 
I love the kind of like haze through this. I guess we're in a temple, so there's like incense burning down there. Check it. And then like all the lights diffusing through it. It's so cool. Oh, look at all the offerings as well. Food offerings. <laughs> to this god. Oh, what's his name? Oh, it's in Greek. Does anyone read Greek? I don't know what that says. <laughs> okay, let's go, go for a little wonder. Oh, wow. Check that out. Look at the pyramids. Yeah. Guys, if you remember when I was at E3, I was on the boat and we were like having fun in the water. I think, I feel like there's going to be crocodiles in here again. It's so good, like the warp, the water warp and all the stuff. All right, I'm going to try and get on the boat. Why? Oh yeah, borrow. <laughs> I like that. I'm just going to borrow your boat. Okay. Oh, sweet. Oh, yes. Sailing into golden hour. Oh, look at the sun through the sail. Imagine if sailing was this easy. You could just lean back and fly like this. <laughs> it's like on a motorboat. Spinning around the camera mode is like I've got a drone. I think I could just spend hours running around discovering this place. Must have taken so long to like find out all the information about like the statues and the designs of the intricacy in all the buildings. It's mad. Are these the pyramids, the modern pyramids that you can see, that you can visit from Cairo now? The, uh, yeah, the Great Pyramids of Giza. Um, so... so I just don't remember this mountain range when I was there. In the game, do you get to meet like the pharaohs and stuff? Uh, yeah, so there's, there's, we've got our own cast of characters in the game with Bayek and his family and the Order of the Ancients, who okay. are the sort of the, the proto Templars. Oh, yeah, this is, this is incredible. Whoa, yeah, look, there you go, that was the tower. So that's Alexandria. That was where we, where we first decided to come up the pyramids and then we finally made it. And then this is the little pyramid I tried to, to climb up. That was the one we thought was the big one. Yeah. yeah. So these are the three, the main three pyramids and then the Sphinx should be down there somewhere. Just there, so the, it's got a bit of sand on it. There's the Sphinx, though, and then one of these threes, yeah, and these must be the ones I climbed. And then this mount, all of this terrain has changed in real life. But I guess because it was thousands of years ago, it's... Well, it's, yeah, the time of the game, you can see all this area around all the pyramids would have been temples and it would have been where priests live and, and yeah. um, you know, people who weren't able to be buried within the pyramids would have been buried around here because they're deeply religious um, areas, very sacred land. Yeah. Um, but you can see how the desert's starting to reclaim it. Um, yeah, already, yeah. So all the, the Nile with the, the droughts and, and, you know, and the weathering of the area, the, when it dried up more and the desert came in, it started to claim all these areas here, which is why they've become more abandoned. That's it, guys. I'm going to leave it there. I've had a fun... I could, like I said, I could spend days just exploring this. And, and I'm sure people will. So today you've seen Alexandria and, and Giza. the area around the pyramids. And that accounts for maybe 20% of the total map oh, of wow. Egypt that's been created. So oh there's gosh. a lot more cities and, and places to go and check out. Brilliant. Incredible. Yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed that video, guys. Like I said, something a little bit different. And check out the link below if you want to go and download Assassin's Creed Origins. And uh, yeah, we'll be back to the normal upload schedule tomorrow on the world trip videos. I think we are currently uh, flying across Australia. And um, yeah, I'll catch you tomorrow. Peace out, enjoy life, and live the adventure. Boom.